Hello my friends, welcome. Welcome to episode 16 of the Ultimate Challenge. Okay, so we got this weird mission to do. Where we're gonna somehow lure these guys into fighting each other. Which, I don't know how possible that is. Now the mission said to push down here and hit these and then push everything this way, so let's do that. Okay, first things first, we gotta get rid of the sentries. reasonably easy to do. Okay, that seems reasonable. All right, that's my six commendation points. Nice and easy. Supply trucks are running for their lives. Okay, so I can race this down here. Okay, so that's the mission objective complete to just hit the supply cars. I'll keep these here in case I need to do it, uh, some more. So what I need to do is I need to kill the hangar here and these two supply depots and then get across the other side of the map and kill the hangar and these two supply depots. And I'm not given a lot of time to do it in. Which makes you wonder if you need to split your forces. First depot is totally exposed, but look at all these enemies here. Wow, this is all supply cars. Two, three tanks and two infantry. Uh, I guess that's workable. Okay, let's see if we can just pounce in there and smash that. There's a little road here that leads to these two. These would probably be quite difficult to deal with. Okay. 
Okay, interesting choice of move there. Ah, more tanks. A lot more tanks. Makes you wonder, do you even have time to deal with these guys? Remember, I can't make them surrender, so... Any hope of a quick and easy kill is not going to happen. Pretty much took my entire turn to just kill one infantry. Damaging the supply trucks without without killing them. Ouch. The entire blue army is just going for me. So this doesn't really strike me as something I can do easily. I don't see an easy way to win here unless what you're supposed to do is to dive these units in round the back. But there's still a lot more enemies behind. And you don't have enough turns to be in both places at once.
It's amazing that you can get all the way down there to do that damage and then get all the way back again. What is it? This tank is so slow. Three movement, Jesus. Makes the Matilda look blush with speed. This is obviously a puzzle map. And one that you're gonna need to maybe do a couple of times to work out what the puzzle, how to solve the puzzle. Okay, he's gonna surrender. Nope, he didn't get shot. And of course my unit's not firing back, it's making this way harder than it needs to be. So all of these guys would have taken some pretty serious damage by now. From being retaliated on. Getting the hangers might be easy. Okay, well not necessarily easy, but... slowest kill. Okay, no repair for you. Okay. I should be able to kill that hangar. And there's a hangar here that's in reach too. So I think at least the objective of getting the hangar is something that we can do relatively straight up. We just gotta go for it. Okay, the red supplies seem to be pretty easy to get, actually. Now I just need to get this one, which I should be able to do. And then maybe I get this one when all these... But uh, these guys are all going to respond and they're all going to come for me. But I think at least getting the two airports is something that we can pull off. If it wasn't for no retaliation, I'm guessing that most of these guys would be running 8 or 7 health by now. Oh, the fuel is running out. The lack of fuel means that a dive on that is going to be troublesome as well. It's a mission that requires you to move swiftly. An American fuel economy is not going to help me. Okay, that tank's going to surrender. No, it's not. Sweet. It's basically distracting two tanks. I might be better off here to just kill the hangers and then let my units die. Because this is coming out of my prestige, so I don't really want to be spending all my prestige repairing these units that I'm not going to get to keep. Yeah, look. Look at this. They all respond straight away. I have no idea how you get these guys to attack each other, because they're blatantly not near, en near enough to each other to consider it. Now this guy is in anti-tank mode, he will defend this. 
supply depot. <laughs> Meanwhile, the tank that moves at zero miles per hour slowly, slowly, slowly making its way to the front line here. Okay, if I move this here, then what I do is I do encircle this tank. And if I then move this here, I don't know if it's wise to spend prestige doing this, but anyway. I can basically lock them in like this, and then maybe, maybe I can dive on that next turn. I should have attacked that first, really. It's kind of obvious that it was going to go into anti-tank mode as soon as it had the opportunity. Hanger is already dead. On the red side. I love how when we take villages, there's a, you know, German army flag, like, that's not obvious. Okay, I'm just going to go for the airports, and then I'm going to uh, not waste any more prestige on this one. If, the, if my units were fighting back, I'd have a chance. And obviously... If I didn't have a fuel problem, I wouldn't. I would be able to dive as well. But neither, neither you know. I think this puzzle mission is designed with no traits, and I have ne I have negative traits that impact the ability for it to be done. Sort of the big issue with a puzzle map is. It needs really... I'm surprised that traits basically work on this puzzle map. If you're gonna do a puzzle map, you probably want to take the traits off. So the 14 strength tanks I think are meant to, you know, hit back hard and really slow the enemy down, but they're obviously not doing it because of the, uh... the situation with, um, no retaliation. This was a suicide mission. However, I can get some money here. Okay, so there's an extra commendation for the supply depots, and that's not going to happen. But we got the hangers. Oh, cool. Uh, 
Uh, not a bad little tank. Just straight, straight out superior to uh, my stuff. Oh yeah. But without the power four, you can't. I wouldn't really be able to reinforce it. So yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing uh, the flags. Might as well just run this away. I don't know if you lo if you lose every unit, it's game over. But the depot objective is not happening. We got the hangar. That'll have to do. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother repairing them. Waste of money. Maybe you're meant to send a couple of recon cars down the center first and just leave your units up here and wait a couple of turns and maybe if they're the closest unit, these guys instead of attacking up will attack in. Uh, but either way, with the traits that I have, I'd be very hard pressed to do the Supply Depot one. Simply because of the distance to the supply depots and the fact that I'm going to have fuel a fuel crisis on the way there. And even if I don't have a fuel crisis on the way there, which I did in this case. Um, you're probably going to need to eliminate some of the French units. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is with, um, with some amount of retaliation. Can I get in there? That's a shame. I was hoping I could get into the airport. Free money. Okay, but I'll have this. Do you know what? This is clear as well. Maybe I can just squeeze down the center here. and Get some free goodies. Run away! Yeah, I'm not quite sure how they're scripted. Maybe if you just move the recon cars down here and you just leave your other units up the top. Maybe it's possible to... Um, to drag these guys into fighting each other. But, if they start fighting each other in the center, you're going to struggle to push units down the right hand side to get this. They can't see me. Red units can no longer see me. Maybe a deep dive will let me get this. Killed by bridge engineers. 
What a sad way to go. Yeah, look, they're heading towards each other now. Thanks for the money, boys. Probably won't be able to get that supply dump in time. What's the sight range of this? Two. Okay. Hmm. It appears that if they can't see you, they can't attack you, so you can potentially sneak sneak units down. I won't get that in time, and I won't get that in time either. But that's an interesting thing. If I'd have taken out this AA gun first, I might have been able to get both of these and then sneak a unit down here to get that. And obviously sneak one down the middle to get this. Maybe that's how you pull it off. Because to be fair, if you get if I took this instead, if I killed this instead, I would have gotten this. And then with a little bit more speed I could have gotten this too and this too, but depending on how I did it, I probably still would have ended up having a fuel crisis. And look, you can see these guys are now all turning around to come get me. I guess that's what it means by the mission briefing saying that you want them to see you. You want both teams. So they move towards whatever they can see. So you want both teams to see one unit, and that one unit that they see is down here. To, to cause them to move in. But how much that helps you, I'm not sure. You probably have to waste four or five turns moving them down here before you decide to make your dive. Just note that, of course, as soon as you attack this, as soon as you're next to the dump, it sees you, so they're going to come for you. If they're not otherwise preoccupied. I think I see how it can be done, how it can be done, I just, I'm not 100% sure it can be done with my traits, because I still think you are going to need to fight. You're going to need to fight and reinforce, and if you're not weakening the enemy, then you're going to struggle to pick them off when you need to. Yeah, I moved away from the dump, they stopped moving. So they only move if they see a target. As if there was more turns, it would make more sense to try and lure them into each other. Yeah, I, I'm sure there's a solution to this. That's uh, Probably what you need to do is just carefully look at the sight range of all of this stuff. Position your units here just out of sight range. Position your units like maybe here or here just out of sight range and send two recon cars down the center to uh, and make sure that they're seen at all times to lure these guys into the center. 
then take your small strike group and hit here and take your small strike group and hit here but really I'm not interested in reattempting this mission I got I got the commendation I needed in fact I got two I guess if you take out these dumps and then sit your tanks you'll get more uh, chars you'll capture more of these Which would be nice. Not gonna lie. They would be nice. They are a bit on the slow side. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that. Oh well, not bad. We made a small profit. We got a couple of commendations. I'm not really that bothered by it. This was never gonna be a perfect campaign with uh, the negative traits that I've got. That is for certain. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure some of the missions are, are even it's even possible to do the bonuses with the negatives that I've that I'm running right now. Especially when the heroes I've got are not very exciting. Historically, French communications were horribly out of date in the early stages of World War II. The majority of their tanks lacked radios, often relied on visual flag systems for communication. These deficiencies would again impact French efforts to organize and react to situations quickly when Germany would invade. Okay. Four batch is over. Interesting little distraction. But yeah, this, uh... I think the trick with that mission is to just keep all your units on the two sides out of sight. And then move two units down the center. One to always be in sight of blue and one to always be in sight of red to cause them to all move towards the center. And then after doing that for three, three or four turns, then come crashing down the sides. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that I'd say about that is that obviously with my fuel situation and no retaliation, I'm not 100% sure it would go particularly smoothly once, you know, because once you engage the depots, they will see you. So they'll come back for you, and you're still going to end up having to fight them at least a little bit. So I just genuinely can't be bothered to go and uh, go and deal with that mission again for one commendation that really doesn't matter. So anyway, here we are in Star Saarbrücken. We have done considerable damage to their numbers, but it'd be foolish to think that we have depleted two entire armies. Missions to hold the line at all costs. Only the strongest resist resistance can deter the French from continuing their assault on our homeland. Defend two, defend all. Bonus raid, fourth army airbase. Deployment pool has been temporarily boosted to fight this major battle. So if we have any units in reserve, now is the time to deploy them. Awesome. We could also content ourselves to hold the high ground. Striking quickly might produce some excellent results. A raid on the French-held airfields could seriously disrupt or even destroy half their air power. Just have to make sure to strike and withdraw quickly before the main body of the French arrive on the field. Okay, this will be an interesting one. Okay. It's Ole Deer from Panzer Corps 1. Yes. I suffered for these commendation points just to get him. Shock tactics. What is the... Oh, nice. 
This guy is gonna make one of my pioneers way better. Okay, before we end it here, I'm just wondering. Pins the enemy unit in place by destroying all of its movement points. Prevents enemy units from retreating so they surrender instead. This is the superior version of envelopment. Because if you remove someone's movement, then they can't retreat. So they will surrender instead, if they receive enough damage. So Shock Tactics is actually the the better version of Envelopment. It has the added bonus that when the Shock Tactics unit hits the one, hits an enemy unit, uh, other units that don't have Shock Tactics or don't have Envelopment will actually be able to hit that unit and it and it still won't run away. The only issue is of course I have no surrender on so he's once again not that useful. <sighs> My lack of uh My lack of good units is saddening. <laughs> so, it's a mission where we are the defender. And, uh... And, uh, I don't shoot back. <laughs> and I don't shoot back! This is gonna be... This is gonna be ugly. This is gonna be super mega ugly. Alright, well, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.